Hey guys, um, Nick here. Recently ran across an article I found about making EDM kicks using only Logic's instruments uh, Ultrabeat and EFM1 and I thought it would be a great idea to make a video illustrating and visually showing you guys how to set that up so you can get to designing your own kicks. Um, also adding them to your loops browser for ease of workflow because being a producer everything is about workflow and uh, working with the flow you know so here we go um, first thing you want to do is you're going to want to open up an instrument a software instrument go ahead and create second thing you want to do is go ahead and pull up ultra beat in your instrument chain here so we go down to ultra beat drum synth We've got that pulled up. Um, we're going to want to go down here to the kick, the very bottom key here. We're going to right click it and we're going to hit init and then kick. That's going to bring up a init version of a kick, very stock sounding sign. Um, it's all set up with the envelopes to make a kick sound. So what we do next is I'm gonna to wanna to come up here to my MIDI region and I'm gonna create an empty MIDI region and I'm gonna make a four on the floor pattern here with my MIDI because we're making an EDM kick and four on the floor is what we want, right? So let's go ahead and hear that back right now. See, it's kinda of low, so what we wanna do next is I wanna take the volume of my kick and I'm going to make it go up to about 10 dB or so. So we get a nice pump coming out of that. Alright, so we can hear that this is a start of a kick. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to come up here to see oscillator 1. Which is this area all up here. Everything up here. And um, all the settings right now are fine. But we want to just test with them and see what we can create. So let's just see what saturation does. saturation is doing is it's taking our sine wave and making it a perfect sign and into more of a square uh, sign so that it's manipulating the oscillator um, I didn't really I don't really want that much squareness to my kick right now so I'm adjusted to about right there sounds pretty good come over here to symmetry and I'm gonna make this go up and, and we'll see how this sounds when you can have it. How it kind of gives that high end click or we don't really want a whole lot of click because we're going to design the click here in a little bit. So we're going to move that dial back down here. So so I kind of have, I like the way that's sounding so far. I can go ahead and adjust the slope too. We can see what that does. It's all just doing what it says. The slope is changing the way that the sound's coming in and out. So you can kind of adjust that however you want. Um, I like that just right there. Um, that all sounds good to me. I want to pitch it um, to the key of the song. So this is where you would do this. So like if your song's in F, I want to kick or I want my kick to be in the key of F. So I'm gonna make it go down to F, and that's gonna create that nice deep sound for me. And I can go ahead and uh, start. From here, I can now move to my envelopes. So you're going to come down here and you're going to look at this area. And we can see on oscillator 1, it is being modulated by envelope 3. Um, and if we go down here, we can actually click and hold on 3. And it will highlight all the areas that the envelope is being used. So with envelope 3 open, we can kind of go to shaping the sound. You should mess with all the dials to see what they all do. So if we take my decay out, sounds uh, like electronic-ish, very analog look sounding. It'll just be a nice like kick. Move that up, give it some more mid. That should sound about right. Next thing I want to do is I'm going to actually control uh, mess with the envelope for the overall s sound. So the last, the the initial volume coming out right here is coming out of this uh, voice volume of Ultra Beat. It's the final envelope that comes out, and this is where we're going to kind of 
um, be able to control the decay of the actual sound. So if we take this, move it down, we can get a longer sounding kick. You can adjust any of these um, dials to make sure that, you know, I mean, you're designing a kick, so sky's the limit. Um, you can do anything you want to your kick. It's your kick. So with that kind of started, that, that sounds just about how I like it for right now. Um, I want to create another instrument. That's a really good low end for me. So I'm going to create another instrument. I'm going to duplicate what I just had. I'm going to open up. Now I'm going to open up an instance of EFM1. Um, and we're going to bring that up. Second thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste my MIDI data down so that I have uh, the same click going or kick pattern going here. Uh, next, what I want to do is I'm, I'm going to go to EFM1. Sorry, I always have a hard time saying it. It's kind of a difficult synth to say. Um, take all the envelopes from volume and the modulation envelope and bring them all down. After we've done that, I'm going to, because we're making a click sound, so we just really want the decay to be up just a little bit on both of them. What that's going to do is it's going to have the, the click noise come out, and that's about all you hear. So if we push play here, we can barely, barely hear it. So that's when you're going to mess with any of these dials to kind of create your click noise. So that, that sounds about right for me. Um, you can go into mixing them, having them both together. Adjust. Um, let's say you like that sound from right there. We just made our own, uh, we drum synthesized our own design of a kick. We like it. We're like, okay, I want to be able to use this thing. So what you should do from here is you should highlight your, your two minis and uh, don't do any mixing at this point, except actually, let's go ahead and roll off the low end of this EFM one here to about a thousand, because we just don't want any low end um, coming through on that kick or that little click. So what we're gonna do from now is we're, we're gonna go ahead and highlight both of them, um, right click it, and then we're gonna go down to bounce and join and bounce in place. We're gonna from here. We're gonna title it what we want. So I'm gonna say EDM kick, and I think I'm on two now. So let's just go EDM kick two. We're gonna leave everything like this. Normalize off. Click OK. It's gonna create a kick here in a waveform. We can go ahead and sample that. From this point, I would want to start shaping the sound more with mixing. So um, you can EQ if you want. Um, I'm not going to do a whole lot of EQing on this kick right now. It sounds just about right. I would really just multi-press it um, for ease of uh, this video and to, to kind of keep it going. I'm just going to use this preset here. Punchy drums. Sounds really nice. Used it before. Bringing up the levels of, of this kick. I'm going to go to... I'm going to add a limiter. So we have a controlled kick. It's at about neg negative 2.8 decibels. Um, you can obviously increase the gain settings just a little bit if you want. So we like where that's sitting. Uh, everything's fine. You can obviously do a whole lot more mixing than I'm just doing. I'm just showing you how to go design the kick and then saving it as uh, a logic loop. So anyways, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to right click again and bounce in place this one again because we've just edited it with mixing. So I'm going to tile it the same thing. I'm going to bounce it. You can see that my kick is now a lot fatter looking wave. It's more defined. We really like how that sounds. I want to use this again. I want to save it as a, a loop function. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually cut one out and I'm going to use this as a one shot. So basically what that is, is just the kick, nothing else, just one kick, one shot. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to right click it again. 
I'm going to go down to convert and then I'm going to go, I'm sorry, export, not convert, export. And I'm going to go to add to loop library. From here, we're going to title it again, EDM kick two is what we want it to say. And then we're going to go down and click one shot because it's just one kick. Our genre is electronic because we made an electronic kick here. We're going to go down to all the drums, make it a kick. It's a single kick. Hit create. So now what we do is we're going to go and um, get out of all this so we can see what we're doing here. Is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our Apple loops. So it brings up this pane right here and it says loops at the very top. If we highlight it, I think it says something like, uh, let's see, choose which loops you want to view in your loop browser. So I'm going to click this down and I'm going to go down to my loops. These are the loops that I've made. And we've titled this one EDM Kick 2. And what do you know, here it is, right there. So now all I need to do is any project that I have, I've made my own kicks. I'm just going to take it and I'm going to slide it out and there it is. And then you can just go to looping it. Obviously we're in 128, so I can loop it because we made it at 128, but if it's at 120, we can change our BPMs here and just option drag it over so that it's to every click here. And we, we basically created ourselves a kick that we can use on any project for any song. Um, and you can see here I've made a whole bunch. I've even got to creating ones with symbols, um, different sounding ones all together here. You can do whatever you want. This is the, the, the awesomeness about using Ultra Beat and using uh, your tools as a producer is that you can go into creating your sounds and then uh, save them as loops or one shots and then be able to just go to them every single time and not have to worry about where to find your kicks because you made them and you know what they sound like. Um, I'm not against sampling. Obviously, when you find a kick that works and one that sounds right for your song, by all means, use it because um, what ain't broke, don't fix. You know what I'm saying? But if you can make your own, uh, there's no better feeling than using your hands to make something. So um, that's really about it. Um, if you have any other questions, you can email me at nickbremproductions.com. Um, that's it. Thank you for watching.